Welcome to the morecalculators.com tutorial for the debt reduction calculator. At morecalculators.com we have over 20 different free calculators to help you with buying a car, buying a home, renting a home, estimating your taxes, making a budget, calculating your income, and investing in real estate. We invite you to try our calculators today at morecalculators.com. Now to get to the debt reduction calculator, just go to our home page and scroll until you see the debt reduction calculator. Once you see it, go ahead and click on it. And you'll see here the debt reduction calculator. It's pretty simple. What it does is it tells you kind of the effect different payments have on your debt. Okay? And what we ask for is balances due, blended interest rate, and then total monthly payments like the first one you can probably say whatever you're paying now and then the, the other boxes you can like increase or decrease the payments to see how that affects your uh, interest paid and the total time paid off now if you do not know what your combined debt is or your interest rate you can go to our credit card calculator by clicking the, the word here that you see there and it takes you to the credit card calculator if you type in all of your credit cards, the amounts you owe and everything, you'll be able to go uh, back to that. So that is that. We'll go back to the calculator here. And we're going to do two examples real quick here. The first example is we're going to increase the amount we're paying off every month or paying on our debt. So what, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and enter these and then I'll be right back. Okay, so you'll see we've gone ahead and entered these. We're entering a debt of $8,000, $19.99 interest rate, and then you'll see various payments that we're increasing. So we'll go ahead and click on the submit button, and we generate two charts. The first chart kind of shows the plan, the principal amount, the interest rate, grand total, number of payments to pay off, and years to pay off. Now everything we do in this calculator is represented by plans, okay? So each different payment amount up here has a different plan, okay? It's like a debt reduction plan. And then we match up the plans over here and also on our next chart. Okay, so this chart here tells us basically the grand total of um, everything. Now the number of payments that we have here is a little bit uh, tricky. The number of payments is rounded up. so um, what we're trying to say is the number of complete payments that it will take to pay off the debt. Most likely, like in our first example here, it's going to be 49 payments and then a, a 50th payment of some smaller amount is most likely going to happen. So and that's you know how it usually happens with loans anyway when you, when you pay your mortgage or a car or something. So that's kind of how that works. And then B, C, D, and E, you see it would be like 38 and then some small 39th payment. Okay, so that's our first chart, okay? Um, it just shows you the differences in the plans. Now, the probably a more important chart is our table of changes, okay? We have plan A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, A is kind of like our baseline. Everything goes off of plan A. So all of these indicated are indicated changes from plan A. It's not cumulative or anything, okay? So you would see if we increased our debt payment by $40 a month, which would be from A to B, we would be able to save $828 in interest. Um, we'll pay 11 less payments and we'll be paid off a year sooner nearly. Okay. And then it kind of goes on. Say if we really went into debt paying off mode and paid off almost $500 more per month, we would be looking at a savings of $3,000 in interest, 37 months, which is over three years. So if we had a lot of extra money and just kept dumping it towards our debt, we'd be paid off much quicker. So that's kind of that. Um, now let's look at a second example real quick here. If you want to, uh, we'll reset out the calculator by clicking the reset button. That clears off the entries. And now I'll go ahead and enter the Okay, so now I've returned. You'll see here we're using the same debt, 8,000, 19.99% interest. 
But this example is going to be, what if we need to reduce what we're paying toward our debt? Um, say we've had a job reduction, lost hours or something, you might need to increase your cash flow and reduce debt payments. That's what this example is going to tell us. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and click our submit button. And then of course our data entries are below here. Okay, our first chart again just does the totals. Okay, and um, that's how that works. Okay, and we'll go to our chart of changes. Now, if we increased our cash flow by, it looks like roughly $40. Okay, we see a small increase in the interest. We'll have to pay one more payment and pay it off a little bit later. Uh, same thing for you know, almost a hundred dollars. We do see an increase in interest. We have a couple more payments. We'll be paid off three months later. Okay, so we could probably eke by on a hundred dollars and not you know see too much of an effect. I mean there will be some effect. And then as you see, as we increase, um, you know, say a couple hundred dollars. Now we're looking at six hundred dollars in interest, nine more payments and three-fourths of a year later and then in our highest example here we have um, a roughly uh, $400 change in cash flow it increases our interest our payoff time and we pay off three years later so you can kind of see that's what what this calculator does it lets you evaluate you know what if I made some different decisions with my debt you know positive or negative now we'll go up here real quick and do one more thing we have our entries now what happens if I enter a payment that's too small okay we're going to enter a very small payment go down here to the bottom and you'll see our chart tells us the payment is too small that means we'll never pay it off okay and then down here the second chart zeroes out so if you see this then most likely there's an error in the entry that needs to be corrected. Okay, now just uh, one more quick little thing here is that, um, remember I told you that the number of payments is rounded up? Okay, the figures that we use, the principal, interest, grand total, those are accurate and exact to whatever it is, you know. Um, the exact amount required to pay off this debt and retire it. So all these numbers here that you see are exact. The number of payments is rounded up just to make sense. You know that we have say 14 payments and then a last 15th payment that is some smaller amount. Probably. Okay. So that's that. Um, and um, again our t table showing changes. And there we go. So that is the debt reduction calculator at morecalculators.com. Now, if you have questions for us, we invite you to visit our homepage and then click on the Help Center. At the Help Center, you'll be able to ask questions or leave comments for us at morecalculators.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.